Hello, welcome to the Yorkshire Dales in snow. <laughs> it snowed last night, but uh, unlike America and places, the, the ground's still soft under this. It's only a light covering, and hey, look, I've got my new large search head. So I'm just going to uh, see if it does work through the snow, through the long grass, through everything. Ha <laughs> ha! And my first find with the large coil. A ring ball! <laughs> Ta-da! My compulsory iron ring. <laughs> Let the hunt begin. <laughs> hey, I love this snow. I can tell exactly where I've been and uh, just walk alongside me with the tracks I've just made. Brilliant! Hello, look, a button! <laughs> oh, my first find. A cupernickel shilling. Hey, 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 my first coin. <laughs> oh, I'm getting lots and lots of rubbish here. But <laughs> that is an Aladdin oil lamp. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's cold. I'm getting a load of junk, but uh, there's a 303 uh, cartridge case. Uh, not been fired, but the uh, powder is well gone. <laughs> uh, I've got about another half hour. Uh, I'm not getting the depth I expected, but maybe I'm just not in the right spot at the moment. Oh, he's grown apple. <laughs> it's got uh, the law marks on it there, but it's not silver. Okay, uh, Georgian. One of these smooth half pence type things. Uh, it was deep, it was very deep. Um, Squealer didn't get it, but the uh, the basic got it, and it was deep. You can see how deep. <laughs> uh, over a shovel deep, it's about nine inches. So it, it's redeemed itself as this big coil. <laughs> in an area that's completely barren over here. Oh, George, five half penny. <laughs> Terrible condition. Thought it was Georgian to start with. Yeah, another half penny. I think it's George five. And yet another half penny. Oh, this bit of ground's not been done before. I know that's been done over by that wall all the way along it. Um, a friend of mine did that. Said he got a lot of coins, but obviously he didn't come in here. Hello. Short hunt today. Um, what with the weather and all. <laughs> uh, actually, I quite like the snow because I could see where I'd been, my foot tracks. So I'd, <laughs> it was dead easy just doing the field, just following a couple of feet away from your original foot tracks. It was easy. So what did we get? Um, a little bit disappointed, um, but actually you can't go by that because it's. Uh, I'm trying out this new large head, and until you get used to them, you know, you, yeah, you, you can't really judge. But I'll say one thing <laughs> it was like a, a lumbering cart horse compared to the small head, which is a, it's a stallion, it's a race horse, is that a small head uh, dais. <laughs> But, um, oh, we'll get used to it. it. It did produce. Now, let's see. Well, I started off, actually, on a, on a very bad place where there was hardly anything there to find to start with. And you've got to have something there or you, you can't tell if it's any good. How about that? That's the top of an Aladdin lamp. I've had one of these before. Look, you know, these, these um, they, they turn the wick up. That's where it goes in there. The wick goes through there. Um... During the war, um, we used to, I lived originally in Barrow, Barrow and Furnace, which was a shipyard, and we were getting bombed regular. So my grandparents had got this little caravan down on the coast, so we moved out of the town and uh, lived in this caravan. It was a wooden caravan then, you know, nothing modern. And we used to have these Aladdin lamps, these, these oil lamps. There was no electric there. Oh, good old days, I remember them well. It, it, it was good, nice warm fire and, well, oh, lovely. Then we got a bit of, uh, I reminisce, <laughs> um, a bit of tin, a bit of, I don't know what. 
it, it's heavy but I'm not sure it is lead uh, piece of strip metal yeah, quite a lot of junk out right? lead 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 <laughs> lead lead little clip of lead so that's about it there now the rest of the junk I well at least it had something going for it this this has obviously broken out of somewhere that is either a foot for something or it's a stud like on a tractor stud you know like those I got up at the um, sweet gap battlefield but nowhere near the size 303 cartridge not been fired detonator still intact uh, the <laughs> 30 odd years ago these these used to come out of the ground in very good condition but now after another 40 years or so they, they've, they've deteriorated a button hey <laughs> hey that was the first find with the large head well apart from that uh, <laughs> ring pull uh, there you go I was beginning to wonder because I was on a bit of ground that just was not producing. Uh, now let's see this. Um, see if I can get these into focus. It's a spoon handle of course and it's upside down. Why do I always do that? And there we go. If anyone can make out uh, what they actually are in there, look. Oh, there you go. It's not silver. It, it could be pewter. Could have been um, silvered. And then, this was the first coin I got. A shilling. 1959. Scottish shilling. There, there's the Scottish lion there. Elizabeth II. Cooper nickel, of course. And then, uh, oh, I managed to stumble onto some coins. I thought, oh, blow this, let's just walk around and uh, see if I can find somewhere that that I haven't done before at all. And stumbled onto this little section. Uh, 1917 George V, half penny. Two 1907s, uh, Edward VII. His head goes the other way, see? Did it get these, the, the way the head goes tells us a lot about coins sometimes when they're in bad nick. So that's 1907 and that's 1907. But this, this has answered a lot of questions for me. This is one of those um, discs What you, you can't normally tell anything. They're worn away to nothing. Um, exact same size. This seems to be a little bit thicker. But... George II, his head's facing to this way, to the left. That makes him George II. Now that makes him anywhere from 1729 to 1754. So when I've been regarding all of these as maybe, what, 1800-ish, well, shove it back 50 years. 1750-ish, <laughs> uh, if not a bit before. So all of those uh, worn thin coins, I reckon they were George, at least George II. Um, so, oh, I'm quite pleased with that. It's uh, it solved the little mystery. So that's it, I'm afraid. Uh, come snow, hail, shine. <laughs> but it it was okay. It's just. Oh, that big head takes a bit of getting used to. It, it literally is like driving a cart horse when you're used to riding a racehorse. Um, it makes you appreciate just how light the small-headed dais is. I mean, oh, it's feather, featherweight. But there you go. Had a good trip. Feet were cold. Uh, that finger <laughs> was cold. <laughs> Couldn't wear gloves or they'd have got wet. <laughs> But, uh, oh, it's all a learning pattern, isn't it? Anyway, until we see you next time, uh, take care, good luck, and good hunting. Bye. I'll leave you with George II there, look. 1727, 1754. Yay.